All right, just going to do a video on how Calvinism attacks the grace and mercy of God towards unrepentant sinners and towards just lost people in general. You see, the God of Calvinism is not unlike the God of Islam. You know, he takes pleasure when sinners die and go to hell. He takes pleasure in the death of the wicked. You know, you got like, for example, the Westboro Baptist Church and all these other, you know, nut jobs out there who are rejoicing when sinners go to hell. Again, it's not unlike Islam, the false God of Islam, Allah. It's no different. You see, I, the God, the, the devils behind Calvinism, the devil spirits behind Calvinism, I believe are the same devil spirits behind Islam. Because they have so much in common in terms of rejoicing when the wicked perish, rejoicing, you know, being happy and, and celebrating when sinners die and go to hell and go to, into an eternity without Christ. It's very wicked. And Calvinism is an attack on the mercy and grace of God. So first of all, I need to point out something that the Calvinist doctrine of limited atonement attacks the mercy of God and denies the fact that God wants everyone to be saved and does not take pleasure in the death of the wicked. Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 11. Say unto them, As I live, saith the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? Couldn't get any more clearer than that. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 23. Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die, saith the Lord God, and not that he should return from his ways and live? Yeah, very clear on that. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 32. For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord God, wherefore turn yourselves and live ye. And also Lamentations chapter 3, in verse 33. For he doth not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men. God does not take pleasure when the wicked die and go to hell. He grieves, he mourns, because they're going into an eternity without Christ. It's that simple. But you see, you got you got these Calvinist nut jobs over at the Westboro Baptist Church who preach this kind of Islamic type theology, this Muslim theology of rejoicing when sinners go to hell. It's wicked. Okay, God wants people to be saved. God does not want anyone to perish. He's calling all men everywhere to repent. Okay, first Timothy chapter two, verse three to four. First Timothy chapter two, verse three to four. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Second uh, Peter chapter 3 and verse 9. Another really powerful scripture on the subject. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. All. He doesn't want anyone to perish. He does not take pleasure in the death of the wicked. You can compare it back to those verses. And finally, Acts chapter 17, verse 30. At the times of this ignorance, God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Not some men, not just the elect, all men to repent. Because God has no pleasure in the death of the wicked. But you got the Muslims, you got the Westboro Baptist Church with their Muslim type theology, taking pleasure in the death of the wicked. Calvinism, again, is an attack on God's grace and mercy and, you know, desire to see people get saved. That's simple. Calvinists have no, they don't have the love of God. They don't believe God is a God of love. When you, when you really get down, they can claim they do, but when you really get down to it, they don't, they believe God does not want all men to repent. Therefore, their God is not a God of love. You know, he's no, no different than the God of Islam, the false God of Islam, Allah. So I wanted to point that out. Don't be deceived by Calvinism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.